Look, I'm recording this message in this setting at this time because it's too important for me to even get dressed. That's how urgent this shit is. Think I want you to see this room I'm in? It ain't pretty. Think any of the fine ladies watching are thinking, I want to end up in a room with that wallpaper. Fuck no. But I'm willing to let you see this wallpaper I got in my room at this time, which isn't easy for me because it's that important. Climate change. Okay? Don't stop the video. Fuck you if you stop the video. You're part of the problem. With all due respect. Listen. It's not controversial. It's not. It should not be controversial. There's hurricanes destroying America as we speak. My little sister had to evacuate the state of Florida. It took her five hours in traffic to travel what should have been one hour. Because it's bumper to bumper traffic of people leaving the city like in a disaster movie. Independence Day? Like that, okay? But you have to understand that just because it's not a foreign threat, just because it's not terrorists, or it's not a spaceship shooting the White House, doesn't mean it's not a threat. It's not a sexy threat. It's not as cool a threat. It's an abstract, kind of stupid, you know, scientific, out there, temperature rising, who cares threat. I'm one of the guys who didn't give a shit about it, I'll be honest. I care now. Because I'm very, very, very confident that the climate has been changing, people are the cause, Republicans have been an instrument of big oil, and these very corrupt people who don't give a fuck what happens to the world, they're just trying to make that money. And that's what it comes down to, end of the day. And listen, I am a guy who works in an industry where persuasion is a big part of what we do. I work in finance now. And I understand how powerful persuasion can be. And it is definitely true that in this country at this time, if you have the resources, you can hire people who are very good at persuading people to spread information or disinformation. And that's what these people have done. And that's why we're still arguing over whether it's even a thing. Because these companies like ExxonMobil, I'll call them out directly. Fuck you, ExxonMobil. You're a big part of the reason the world's in trouble right now. Let's be honest. I, I heard it's come out that like 30 years ago, you knew internally in your company what your activities were doing to the planet. Rather than come out with that, or at least quietly make changes within the organization, for starters, so that doesn't happen, or the impacts are minimized, or people at least know what to expect and are able to make laws and make decisions to cope with upcoming realities. If you put yourself as a citizen of the world, or an American, or someone who cares about his family, before you put yourself as a, you know, success on paper, numbers in your bank account, the world wouldn't be in the type of trouble it's in now. So listen, I brought my show back, Tripolar. I'm about to release the first episode. I think the second episode might have to be about climate change. I want to talk about mental health stuff. I don't like climate change. But we got to talk about it because it's destroying the planet. And it's not just something that like our great-grandkids would have to deal with anymore. It's something that's impacting us right now, whether we like it or not. So listen, you need to at least come to terms with the fact there is a very serious threat facing everyone right now. Let's put it this way. Climate change is the White Walkers of the Game of Thrones. I really believe that may be an intentional metaphor for it. I don't know that. I don't know George R.R. R. myself. But I bet if I sat down for a beer with him, he'd tell me that's the case. It is the White Walkers. It is a thing out there that we can't see that we've hear, heard about, but that no one seems to be worried about. So we just go on with our main struggles in life. We go on with trying to take the throne, trying to fight these guys who did something to us, trying to fly a dragon around, whatever, right? Although Daenerys, she really did chip in. Unfortunately, I don't want to ruin it, but you know, let's just say Westeros is in trouble, and so is Earth. So. Here's the thing. It shouldn't be an argument. It's not a Republican-Democrat issue. And you guys are both fucking retards if you think it is. Both sides of the aisle. 
It's not. Stop trying to make each other look bad. Stop trying to make it a campaign issue, make it controversial, make it let's jump on this side or this side. Trump thinks there's no climate change. You know, uh, Bernie Sanders thinks there is. No, it's not a political issue. And I got to say, Trump, I support a lot of the things you've been doing, okay? I, I did a lot to endorse you in many ways. And I'm very disappointed on this issue. Unless you know something I don't. Unless you know that, I don't know, we're fucked no matter what and only the rich people are going to escape on spaceships, so let's not worry about it. That to me would at least make sense. It doesn't make sense to me how you could look at something that all your experts are saying is a threat and just look the other way. I mean, you want to critique, say, Obama uh, for things that happened on his watch or, you know, much more clearly Bush for 9-11. He could have stopped it. He could have done this and that. He should have known. What about climate change? That's way more serious than 9-11. I'm sorry to say because it impacts the whole world and it impacts it in a more permanent way. You can't. You could maybe kill all the terrorists, say. Maybe we did. Maybe we killed most of them. You can't kill climate change. All you could do is cope with the fact that it's a thing. I don't know that what we could do to fix it. But what I do know is the reason we haven't fixed it is because of all this stupid debate and all of this sitting on our hands waiting for the research to come in, waiting for the facts to come in. Like, are you kidding me? They say 97 and 99%, whatever, of scientists are saying that we're the reason for climate change. And that it's a problem. And it's a serious, serious existential threat. If 97% of your experts at the thing say the thing is the thing, it's the thing. And if it's not, so what? Worst case, you made new shit. We got electric cars. We got whatever. You advance technology forward so we're not blowing up old dinosaurs to run vehicles and planes and, you know, there's got to be better ways. And guys like Elon Musk are showing us, yeah, you can do other things. It works. We could have done it a long time ago. We did it. And it's because of money and corruption. So listen, it's past the point of being cute. I'm making this video just because I really do believe it's that pressing that people who are rational people that anyone else seems to follow in any way, or at least care what they have to say, it's time for all those people to at least voice the facts that, guys, we're idiots. We deserve what's coming to us because we have been incapable as a country and arguably as the human race, although we've gone from helping to lead the, the, the change, the efforts, to just opposing them or standing on the sidelines about it and so trump look i gotta say to you man i support you in many ways i think there's a lot of things you're doing that are good i think you have a lot of good ideas i think you're wrong on this one buddy in fact i know you're wrong on this one again unless you know something i don't know which would be nice to tell us i don't know but look let's be real donnie t it's a real problem you don't appoint people who don't believe in the thing they're supposed to study and or police and or present public knowledge on to do that thing. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's like appointing someone who doesn't believe in crime to be a judge. It's like appointing a police officer who doesn't believe in arresting people and throwing them out on all the streets. It's insane. And I'm a guy with bipolar disorder. I'm a guy who should be the one who's insane. But I'm not. I'm looked at as maybe a little more insane right now for being in my bathrobe, making a fuss about something that's destroying America. And why the fuck is that controversial? Ask yourself, how could it be controversial to say, I'm concerned because my sister's life's in danger, because the university she goes to is about to be probably destroyed, because a lot of people are about to lose their homes, a lot of people are about to be displaced, Texas and Florida are going to be like our Syria, all these refugees, 
And like, look, even if it's not as dramatic as that, even if we recover, I'm sure we will. It's not the end of it. It's not a one-time thing. This is only the beginning. So look, I, I'm going to be honest, it's very depressing to me. Part of me doesn't even want to like have kids because of it, to be honest. Because I think that people have failed to even take care of their planet, which is a very basic thing. And to all you religious people who are also on the side of, I don't want to say climate change deniers, I'm just going to say people who accept what they're given, okay? You're not a denier. You don't know. I get it. It's very confusing. And the reason is, these guys hired guys who are really good at convincing people of stuff that it's a debate when it's not. They're creating a big fuss about whether the color black is black or it's a turtle. It's black. It's not a debate. So look, what can you do? I don't know. But I know that what you're doing is a terrible idea. So in closing, please understand, getting to that point I was about to make, people who are religious that also oppose or cannot accept the fact that it is bad that we are destroying the world, ask yourself, if you really believe that heaven awaits you, and that this life, this world doesn't matter. It's all about getting into heaven. You don't have to discuss it, but just you know who you are if you believe that you're trying to get into heaven. Ask yourself, would a God that is even as intelligent as an average person, okay, let's just assume God is not nearly as intelligent as we think he is if we believe in God. Let's assume God is just an average Joe, okay? Would God let you move in with him into his beautiful estate if he rented you an apartment and you fucking destroyed it and you didn't care because you knew you were about to move into the mansion? Guys, come on. Come on. Of course you wouldn't let them move in with you. God shouldn't let us move in with him. If this is how we treat our planet, just please, that's just a thought. That's one idea. That's one way to look at it. But the most important thing for you to do is look at it and to look at it through a lens other than the lens you've been looking at it if you're still confused about it or you still think it's controversial. Look at it through the lens of people who are actually experts in the topic. But look, they may be really good still at continuing the confusion. And I don't know for how long they'll get away with it. But say they do another 10 years, 20 years, 5 minutes. I don't know how long it'll be. Just please accept the possibility that what you're seeing and what a lot of people are saying are white walkers, are white walkers. And if they're real, they're a huge threat to everyone and we need to obviously confront it to survive. If they're not real, sorry, it was a false alarm. Those are the two outcomes. And if you don't care, that's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Don't have kids if you don't care. For real. Because they deserve a life free of hurricanes destroying the world. It's not controversial, guys. I don't like this topic. I don't want to talk about it. I don't even find it that exciting. I think it's boring. I don't like it either. But it's a thing. So just don't vote for people who say it's not a thing. That's a simple way to start. Make them tell you. Is it a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, let's fix it. I don't know. It may be past the point of no return. Maybe there's nothing we can do. Maybe all the rich people are leaving on spaceships. Maybe I need to try to get a slot. I don't know. What I do know is that I'm upset. And I'm depressed. And part of the reason I get depressed in general is I see things going on that everyone seems to gloss over and not care about. And I'm baffled by that. 
and I'm depressed because these people also hold conflicting notions of values of who they think they are, what they think they represent, that they think they're good people, that this and that. And meanwhile, their actions are very contrary, and they refuse to even evaluate whether they could be wrong. But I can tell you this, we've been wrong. We should have figured out a long time ago, and we shouldn't have let these rich... And look, it's not even most rich people, probably. And a lot of rich people, they care. It's some rich people, some super rich people, maybe it's like 10 guys. I don't know. Some people spread this disinformation, and it's permeated. And those people should be held accountable. I would love to see a huge lawsuit, someone like ExxonMobil, and if you could prove they did know the same way that RJR Reynolds and these tobacco companies knew they were killing people with their cigarettes, but they claimed for many years, through false science, through all these things they did to just perpetuate a myth to the contrary because it supported their balance sheet. If you find they did the same thing there, maybe they can help pay for the cleanup. Maybe they can help pay the people who are losing everything because they decided it was more important to make more money in the short term. I don't even want to talk about this. I'm going to go on my day. Things are going to be okay. My show's going to come out. It's fun. It's not depressing. It's enjoyable, I think. First episode, I'm talking about a hand job situation gone wrong. Linking that in to some actually important shit. Explaining what bipolar disorder is. Explaining why I was in a situation where... Look, you'll hear the episode when it comes out. But look, um, I just feel passionate about it. And I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to care about it. But I have to care about it because no one else does. Not to say no one else does. That's not true. A lot of people do. But there's a perception that a lot of people don't. Many people don't. And there's a lot of confusion going around that needs to end. So I'm going to link you to a good interview uh, with the, with a climate change scientist guy and a guy named Sam Harris, who's a brilliant, highly articulate man, uh, slash neuroscientist, philosopher. You know, even if you don't, you don't have to agree with a lot of things he says. You don't have to listen to anything else he says, but listen to this interview because he really kind of very politely and very clearly uh, discusses this. Maybe listen to that, make up your mind, but please just care. You just care about the world for a minute because it is your world, okay? And if it's God's world, I would think God would prefer if we took care of it. I have a book out. It's not an ad, but I wanted you to buy it because I think people should read it or I wouldn't have written it. Um, It's called Glass Black Box. It's on Amazon. Link you to it. Show's Tripolar Podcast. New episode coming out probably this weekend. Uh, I have it recorded. Everything's ready. I just got to edit it and throw it up there. Uh, Thank you to everyone who supported the show, supporting the book. I love all the feedback I'm getting. Thank you very much. Um, This is the type of stuff I really care about, uh, the the mental health type of work I'm doing. Um, Look, I'm not a climate change scientist. Like I said, what I care about is the psychology behind it. That's where I can come in. And I can tell you as someone who understands persuasion, understands human psychology to a pretty notable degree, I think it's fair for me to say that, um, this is what's happened. You've been sold a bullshit product, and they got away with it so far. And it's time to grow up. And it's time to understand this is not about anything other than the White Walkers invading, and we got to stop fighting with each other, and we got to fight the White Walkers. Okay watch Game of Thrones as well on HBO.